Hello everyone. In this video, we will see our first tutorial on OTCL. OTCL is actually a TCL with object oriented support. So here what we are going to do, we are going to create a simple class in OTCL. So in OTCL, if you want to create any uh, class, what you have to write, write class. Uh, keep in mind this C is capital and then name of the class. So let's say we are going to create a class for student. So now this command class it will create a class name student. Now if you want to create a object of this class student, what you have to write, you have to write student as one. So this is a simple command to create a class and if you want to create a object of sorry for semicolon, uh, we need to use class name and object name. Now the question is that how are we going to add attribute for this class? So for those thing, what we have to do, we have to use this object. So let's say we are uh, we want to store some information about this object, like what is the name of this is student S1, what is the age, and let's say what is the course. So how are we go going to do that? We have to use object name S1, and then there is a command set. This command is used to assign some value for a variable. So First, we have to write object name set command. Now, what attribute we want to assign to this object? So, we want to assign an attribute name. Now, right here, what is the value of this attribute? So, this command actually saying set this value John to name, and this will be treated as an attribute for object S1. So, we will do same for other attribute as well. So, let's say set age 20 and S1 set course and uh, let's say be so this object s1 will be having three attribute name age and course now the th second thing is that uh, how are we going to define a function for this class and let's say we want to create a simple function what this function will do this function will print all the attributes value for a object so in order to define any function for a class we have to use name of class so student so this is the class name student then we have to use a uh, keyword inst stroke so this one will specify that uh, whatever we are going to define now this will be treated as a function for this class student and here let's say we are going to use the name show and between these two curly braces if this function need any argument these argument has to be specified between them and then we are uh, specifying beginning of the function and this is the ending of the function so class name inst broke and then function name this will be the argument list if this function need any argument list and here we will write the code of what we want to do so what we want to do we want to print simple value of name age and code so first of all we have to specify here that in this function we are going to print value of name age and course so we have to tell that this name age course these are variables or variables of object so for that thing we have to use self so it will represent current object who is calling this function and then where this one we have to use so it will specify the whatever name we are going to write now those will be attribute of calling object so here we will write name age and course and then what we are going to do we will print the value of name age and course so if you want to fetch value of a variable in tcl what you have to do this set command is used to assign value to a variable plus this set command also used to print value of a variable so let's say here if we won't write any value here so in absence of a value this command will return the current value stored in this variable and this bracket actually replace this command by its output so here we are printing value of name same we will do for age and we will do same for course 
So this function is done. So here uh, we have created a simple class. We have created an object S1. This object is having three attribute with the value. We have defined a function. So if whenever this function is called uh, with a object, it will print the value of name, age, and cost. Now thing is that how are we going to call this function? So use your object. So our object is S1. Then use function name. So at this time we know. Uh, no need to use any curly braces. So this is the object, this is the name of function. That's it. So we will save it and let's run it. So if you have MS2 installed in your system, you can directly run the OTCL programs. So if you can see here, it has printed John 20 BE. So I'm again uh, briefing all this content. If you want to create any class in OTCL, class keyword will be used and C is capital. So class, what is the name of class? This command simply create a class student. Now, how are we going to assign some attribute for a object? So ob object name, set command, attribute name, value. So in this way, we can assign any number of attribute for an object. Now next thing. How are we going to define a function for a class? So for that purpose, class name will be used. Inst proc uh, actually stand for instance procedure. Name of the function, attribute uh, argument list. If there is any uh, argument is needed for this function, if no argument needed, in that case it will be left empty. And then opening curly braces. So in this function, what we are going to do? We are going to access three attribute of object name, age and course. So we have to specify this thing in first line. So dollar self, actually it will represent current, current object who is calling this function. So we are saying uh, whenever a object will call this function, that object name, age, course will be available using these name. Okay. And here we are, what we are doing, this PUTS command actually used to print something in TCL. And this command set name, this command used to assign value to a variable, this command also used to return the value of a variable. And these bracket, bracket, actually these bracket will replace this command by its output. And finally what we have done, how to call a function, object name, function name, no curly braces, nothing. So this is the first tutorial. In next tutorial what we are going to see, we will see how to write constructor and destructor for a class. Thank you very much.